What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do in this video is going to show you how to install custom recovery and root your Transform Prime TF701, 701T, whatever the heck they officially call it. But anyways, this is not how I typically do my uh, root videos as you probably know if you've been watching my channel for a little while now. I don't like the um, ASUS quick settings so I turn that off just so I can go back to having things the way they normally are and power save turn that off. So uh, to begin, we're going to need a recovery and that recovery will be found here. Unfortunately, there is not twerp recovery, TWRP. So we have to use this recovery for now. It says you must be unlocked. You must be on the uh, 10.26.1.1.8 bootloader updating to ASUS uh, latest 4.3 will install this. So we are on that. We're on 4.3. How we can tell is we will go to our settings here and then we will go to about and you'll see that we are on 4.3. All right, so hopefully you can see that. If you can't, watch this video in 1080p, and you should be able to pick that up. But we are on 4.3, so we're gonna go ahead and click this recovery image link right here. And for some reason, clicking it on it with a mouse is easier sometimes. And then there it is, it's downloading in our thing here. It's a 6.4 megabyte file as of this video. On here, we're gonna need to go to about, and then software information, go to the build number and keep tapping on that. It says you are now a developer and developer options is now enabled. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better of a setup. All right, so in here we need to go to USB debugging and we need to press okay and enable that. And then we should be good to go there. I'm gonna uncheck verify apps over USB just because that's what I want to do. So at this point, we're going to plug our device into our computer, preferably a USB 2.0 port if available. And if you need to have drivers, to see if your drivers are working correctly, you can open up your file browser here. And then I have the Android SDK installed. That's what the platform tools is. If you do not have the platform tools, in the description of this video, there'll be a link to watch my video or to see my video on how to get the uh, Android SDK on your computer. So, Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to take this recovery and we're going to show in folder and then we're going to go ahead and hit control X to cut it or you can copy it. It's completely up to you. And then we're going to go back to our platform tools and we're going to right click and choose paste. Now we have recovery in there. So we're going to hold shift down on our keyboard and then we're going to right click and choose open command window here. We're going to type ADB devices. And if, uh, okay, do you want to allow this computer? I'm going to hit always, press OK. And obviously it is picking it up. It says unauthorized. So if I type in ADB devices again, now it's going to say the device. So on here, I can choose ADB reboot bootloader and it will force this thing to go into bootloader. Optionally, you can hold the volume down and the power button and you'll see like RCK and wipe and stuff like that. That is your um, bootloader. That's what it's gonna be booting to here in just a second. <laughs> okay, so actually on this one, we need to manually get it into bootloader. So let's do that. We're gonna go ahead and power the device off and we're gonna unplug it. Because of the fact that this device automatically pushes stock recovery back on the device after a reboot, I highly recommend pushing Super SU to your internal SD card right now or to a micro SD card before you actually reboot into recovery because once you get out of custom recovery, it's going to reinstall stock recovery and you need root in order to delete the files that are responsible for installing stock recovery over your custom recovery after you reboot. And then in here, we're gonna hold the volume down and the power button. And then we're gonna, this is uh, starting fast boot protocol. So we can plug our device back in. Okay, so for some reason after you boot up, you can type ADB reboot bootloader and it will get you to this screen. I don't know why I didn't do it at first, but just let it boot up. And then when you're in Android, type in ADB reboot bootloader and do it again. So in here we're gonna type fast boot flash recovery and then type in like REC and hit tab and it will autofill the name and then press enter. It pushes the recovery to the device. So on here, we need to go down, press the down button 
volume down and then press volume up when we get to the Android and it's going to cold boot Linux. So again, to get to this screen right here, you're going to power the device all the way off and then you're going to hold the volume down and the power button at the same time until you see this screen right here. If you want to get into recovery, you'll press volume up when it gets to the first thing, which is RCK. So, or you can go on here and type ADB reboot recovery. So I want to show you what it looks like whenever you go to recovery. Oh, and to get root, oh, I'll just show you that separately on the tablet. Um, you can push SuperSU to the device right now, or you can go on here and you can search for uh, SuperSU, and we're going to do it that way. But you can ADB push SuperSU to it right now before you do this. So we're going to type in ADB reboot bootloader, press enter, and now it should take us into bootloader mode, and we can just press volume up. And I just wanted to show you this. Um, basically on here, you can just type in ADB reboot recovery, and it'll take you into recovery just fine. So hopefully we get into recovery here. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. There are two files on your Transform Prime and they are basically installing stock recovery every time you boot to Android. So you're gonna keep losing custom recovery every single time you reboot your device. That's why if you push Super SU to your tablet and then you install custom recovery, you can immediately boot into custom recovery before it reinstalls stock recovery and install Super SU, which will give you root access. And even though you boot up, it will reinstall stock recovery, you'll be able to download something like Root Explorer or ES File Explorer, grant it root permission for uh, read and write access, and then delete the two files that are reinstalling stock recovery and then install custom recovery again. Once you grant yourself root permission, you can read and write to this folder now. You need to go to etc and delete the file called install-recovery.sh and then you need to go to system and delete the thing that says recovery from boot. And so you need to delete those two files that are responsible for installing stock recovery every single time you boot up your transfer pad TF701. After you delete those two files that are reinstalling stock recovery, you'll need to go to the Google Play Store and search for an app called Recovery Tools by DSL Nexus. Then you'll need to go to Flash Other Recovery and you'll need to go to your download folder and you'll need to uh, install the recovery.image. Basically that recovery image that I flashed via Fastboot earlier in the video, you can just use the mobile browser on your transform pad and download it on there and that'll put it in your download folder and then you might need to install custom recovery with recovery tools now that you're rooted and it will no longer overwrite your custom recovery with stock recovery. All right, we're at this screen, so I don't know if something went wrong. So far, we've followed the directions and we fast boot flashed it. So we're going to hold volume down in power and it's going to go here and we're going to go to RCK, press volume up. And hopefully we'll see custom recovery. Okay, so let's hold volume, the power button down. Let's hold volume down in power. We're at this screen again, so we're going to go back to this and type in... Alright, we're typing in that command. It's rebooting recovery. So on here, we're just going to hit volume up. And it should boot us into <laughs> custom recovery if it works this time. I'm thinking maybe something with an Android overwrote the uh, custom recovery with the stock recovery. And in here, uh, that shouldn't happen. Okay, so we are on custom recovery in here. We're going to go ahead and reboot system now. And it's going to say, ROM may flash stock recovery on boot. Yes, disable recovery flash. And I'm going to go ahead and hit no at this time. And we're going to uh, go to the device. And we're going to put uh, Super Seal on there and flash that in our new recovery. So... Let's go ahead and move the computer. Again, you can ADB push it to here. You can drag Super Suit, put it on the there, or you can put it onto a little SD card on the side. There's multiple different ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you the easiest way. So you've done the hard part. It's done. We have recovery on the device. So let's go ahead and switch the camera around. All right, so we are almost done here. We're gonna open up the browser again and we're gonna search for Super SU. Just like that and then search. And then you'll click the XDA thread right here. And when that loads, you'll scroll down here until you find something that says uh, CWM, twerp, mobile Odin installation. And you'll press on that and it'll open up a new tab. And then whatever is the latest version, it'll be right here. 
So you'll click on it, it'll start the download. It's it's gonna be up here in your progress bar, update super SU, uh, it could be 194, 195, 2.7, it could be whatever version, whenever you're flashing it. So we're going to go ahead and power the device off. And then when, when it's off, you're gonna hold volume down and power at the same time until you see that screen that says RCK and then you'll press volume up and that should take you into your custom recovery if it in fact did not let the stock recovery flash over the custom recovery which hopefully it didn't hopefully it fixed that okay so that's annoying we need to flash super SU so uh, apparently this clockwork remod recovery is not completely done yet sorry about that at this time I am going to manually power the device off and then I'm going to put it into fast boot mode and then I'm going to flash recovery once again because it didn't uh, stop it from flashing the um, custom recovery um, or the sock recovery of the custom recovery so all right so we just pushed recovery back to device we're gonna press volume up and it's going to get us into recovery Whenever uh, twerp comes out, you'll just flash twerp the same way. You'll put the open recovery twrp image onto your computer and your platform tools folder, and you'll fast boot flash recovery open uh, script recovery twerp whatever version, and then um, flash that, and then it will work just fine. This is obviously it's still in development, so we're gonna go to install zip, press volume down, and then hit the power button. And then when we're in, when, and then when we're in here, we're gonna press the power button again to choose from SD card. We're gonna choose zero, and then we're gonna press volume down until we get to download. Press the power button again, and then you'll see. Well, you can't really see it, but I guess I could press volume down. Now you can read it. Update Super SU. So we're gonna press power, and then we're gonna go to yes, install Super SU, and it's installing the root. Basically, this is what's going to give you root. When you unlock your bootloader, when you install custom recovery, when you do all that, it doesn't actually, um, you know, give you root. You actually have to push Super SU to the device and install it in custom recovery in order to get root. So we are rooted at the moment. We're going to let it boot up here. All right, so in our app drawer, we should hopefully find something like this sweet we are um hopefully rooted here uh no thanks i'm already following you and settings i'm gonna upgrade to pro i purchased it a long time ago and uh, when you buy it it just carries over from device to device so you don't have to worry about rebuying it if you get a new new tablet or something so we're gonna go back to super sue and we're gonna go in here and uh, i'm gonna uncheck reauthentication because that's something i prefer to do and we are rooted we can go to the Google Play Store and search for an app called Root Checker. There is a free version of, and a pro version. Uh, I paid for the pro, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it. It is by Joey Krim. Make sure you're installing the correct one. And the free version and the pro version do look just a little bit different between them, so we're gonna open it up. We're gonna go ahead and agree to the thing here, press okay, and then we're gonna verify root. And it's going to say here, we are rooted. So this is awesome. Grant it root access. And it says congratulations. You have root. So yeah. I mean now that you're rooted. You can install custom recovery from your device. If this video helped you root your Transformer Pad TF701. Please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. It's just a little click. But trust me it goes a long way. If you're new to my channel please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. When I upload videos, it auto-tweets to Twitter, and a lot of times, like Flossie Carter, for example, if he uploads a video, I will see on Twitter that it says, you know, the name of the video, and I'll click on that link, and I'll be able to watch it before it actually hits my sub box on YouTube. So, it's just a quicker way of seeing videos and finding out what someone's working on. So, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I also have Facebook, Google+, and etc. In the description, there's going to be a little thing that says show more. Please click that. It'll expand the description and you'll get to see all of the links in that description. There will be links to how to unlock the bootloader because you have to have an unlocked bootloader in order to install custom recovery and root your device. Um, if I create a playlist, there will also be a playlist full of all my other Transformer Pad videos. 
and yeah so please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my youtube channel please follow me on twitter and instagram this is what would josh do and i'm out